All right, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through Google's targeting options, uh, my best recommendations for them, how to work with them, and how to get to them inside of Google Ads, and what you should set them up as. So first things first, we get inside our Google Ads campaign. You want to come down to the campaign you're targeting. So for this example, we're going to do our pool installation campaign. We're going to come over to More Details, hit Edit and Settings, and then come down to Locations. Uh, you can edit right here, but I find the advanced search is just easier to use and it gives a better uh, overview of the campaign. I'm also going to cover the targeting and exclusion options below this, so search interest and presence, uh, after I finish this, just to let you know. Now, there's two ways to actually target inside Google Ads. There's location and radius. So location is if you type in a city, it's going to target the whole city. It's as simple as that. Like as you see here, we targeted Hamilton, targets the whole city. Radius is a nice option if you're a service-based business and say you're willing to drive 20 miles or 50 miles in any direction. What you can do is either type in the name of the city or pin, use pin mode, which I prefer doing. Let's say we want to do 20 miles around Oakville. We hit pin, hit target, and now you're targeting 20 miles around Oakville and your ads will appear within 20 miles, which is you know, awesome uh, for service-based businesses that just wanna you know, be in a certain area. They don't really care what city they're in, it's just more of a distance issue. Uh, another thing to consider is the actual exclusion. So say you want to exclude a certain area. Say you have all these surrounding areas selected, but Guelph is a city you just don't wanna target. So we're gonna hit location, we're gonna type in Guelph, uh, and we're going to hit exclude. So Guelph has now been excluded. Your ads will not show for this. Keep in mind, Google's ads targeting is really good. It's really good at finding customers that are in those areas, but it's not perfect. It's like 98%. It's really, really good, but you're always going to get that 1% or 2% of people that are using uh, like maybe a VPN, um, a weird computer setup, a weird phone. Uh, mobile networks aren't always reliable when it comes to location tracking. So you are going to get one or 2% that are outside those areas and it's not perfect. Uh, is it really good? Yes, but it's not perfect. So keep that in mind if you get a couple leads that aren't um, in the specified area you want them in. The next thing is the actual nearby function. So I really like this. Uh, if you hit Guelph, say we want to, we excluded Guelph, but we want to target all the areas around Guelph. So we could do it shows us a list after here i'll show you we hit nearby and then we uh we can hit all or we can just select certain cities if we want and then we could hit target now we are targeting all the areas around guelph and um it's a really easy function to just add a whole bunch of cities and i really like it uh, we use it all the time it just saves a decent amount of time in there inside google ads another thing to consider is add locations in bulk so say you just have a list of cities you want to target you can quite literally write them all down, copy paste in here, and Google will just go through and target all of them. Make sure they're accurate, because sometimes Google will, like if there's multiple cities with the same name, uh, it might target a different country with that city in it. So just make sure it's accurate, uh, and Google does a, generally a very good job with that. Once you have all these things set up, you're targeting the city you want your ads to show in, you're targeting, you know, maybe it's the radius, and you've excluded the cities you don't want to show in, and you don't have to be super detailed when it comes to exclusion. This is generally a scenario where you have a targeting radius, but there's a certain area or a certain city inside that area uh, that you don't want to target. So say there's one specific city, uh, use the exclusion. Other than that, you don't really have to target all of this stuff and exclude everything. You just have to target these. Uh, the areas you want to be targeting that are included. And Google does a very good job at understanding the difference. It won't just go outside and target all these random areas just because you haven't excluded them. So you're good. You don't need to exclude literally everything. Uh, once we're good with that, we hit save. And now the location options. This is, I get a lot of questions about this. And essentially, the important thing to note is what your situation is. So most of the time we deal with service-based businesses and we want to target people in the area we've targeted. And I know that might sound weird. Uh, like, yeah, no, duh. Like, w that's why we targeted. But there's another option for Google and it's called search interest. So if people are searching for that area, but they're not located in it. So say they're located in New York City, but they're targeting Toronto your ad could still pop up if you're doing presence or interest or just search interest. And now you would go, why would you ever want to do that? Well, there's a certain uh, type of business 
And I see this mostly with like car rental companies or maybe hotels uh, that really want to focus on people traveling to that location. So car rentals would be a great uh, one for, you know, search interests. But if you're an actual service based business and you're selling to a certain location, it ha it does absolutely nothing for you. And I would recommend getting rid of it. If you are a car rental company, maybe consider using search interest or presence or interest. But for most people, presence is the one you one you want. Uh, leave it with that and don't change it. That's my recommendation. The other one is exclude. We want to exclude presence or interest. This is essentially a little tricky way Google plays with getting around and kind of showing you out a little bit more because they want a little bit more money. Uh, but you want to exclude people showing presence or interest in your excluded area. If you only show presence, people could then type in, let's say we excluded Guelph here, people in Toronto could type in Guelph and your ad may still show. So uh, make sure to get rid of presence and interest, not just presence when you exclude the, the ads. That about covers it for location settings. It's pretty simple. Google does a really good job at you know making it easy for everyone to use. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section below. I'd love to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Um, and the weekend's approaching, so have fun.